Good evening, everybody. So I'll give everybody a moment to get themselves sorted and ready to go. So today you need your mat, towel. Also, you've got like, so I've got a yoga block, um, but I know probably nobody else has one of these. So a fair book will do. So I've got both for fairness, because uh, obviously the book weighs a bit more than a foam block. So just something sturdy. It doesn't need to be a hardback book, just something that you can step on that won't move around and not too big. So it doesn't matter if it's kind of wider, but not much taller than this. Sam was like, oh, everybody's going to be so excited that you're going to sit there and read them a story. Sorry, no story time. So yes, the only things you need other than the list of exercises um, that I have given for our final round, they are in the description of this video. They're also on my Instagram stories or my Facebook. So if you don't have them, you can get them now and we will warm up in one more minute. So I'll we'll give everybody one more minute. Make sure you have some water and have a sip. It is humid today. So the layout, we've got the first round is lower body. We're gonna go through all the exercises once. Um, then the second time round, we go through them all again. There's very little rest time for that. So really listen to form, things like that in the first round. Same when we get to upper body, we'll go through it, longer round, then a shorter one. And then we are into the last round that you have the exercises for. So, uh, hi Tom and Alex. I like when you guys leave messages for me. So I can know who it is, because I can just see people. Right, we will start warming up. So if anybody joins us late, just Pop in with the warm-up. So we will start with our walk out. So you're gonna walk out to a tall plank and then back to your toes. Just say that I've just listened to my playlist for this class and uh, it, in my opinion, is amazing. Uh, if you like that type of music, I was just taking it back to my teen years. So maybe some of you've got that on now. So I'm pretty jazz. Try and start with a different hand each time. Okay, then the next time you're in tall plank, you're just gonna drive your hips up, down facing dog. And we're gonna pedal the feet here. So really pushing one heel down, then the other. Breaking up through the backs of the legs. And then step one foot up, you know the drill, open up and swap. It's going to alternate, take your time. It always also might take you sort of a couple of steps to get your foot up. That's absolutely fine. Just going to do one each side. And then slow hip dips. So you might do these on your knees or on your toes. Make sure they are slow and you're looking towards your feet when you're down. So definitely a wake through the upper body. One more each side and then you're going to walk your hands back towards your feet. Walk them back. Okay. Nice wide feet for a squat. So push your hips forward at the top. Squeeze your glutes. You've got plenty of squat variations. You're going to do three more. On this last one, we're just going to pulse for 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. So reverse lunge, twist towards the bent leg, 
exchange. So we've got a nice quick warm up today. As I normal with this Thursday class, it is going to be pretty intense, but I will re give regressions the whole way through. So if your kind of energy levels are a bit low, or you're just kind of sore, you take it at your pace. You'll definitely be able to do it. You just take it at your time. If not, if you want a real push day, then we are going to go for it. Okay, two more. Obviously, with that kind of, if you've got injuries, illnesses, anything, just listen to your body. If anything, I've got for you. So last one, just going to be side pushes. If anything I've got for you is not suitable and I haven't provided you with a different alternative, Use kind of any sort of exercise you like, you can put in there. Obviously, if the worst comes to the worst, you can always do a box and shuffle. Okay. All right, guys. Five seconds. We're going for our first exercise. My leg was just come off. Okay. One leg back, doesn't matter which. We're pulsing in a lunge. So staying nice and low. Body is upright. So staying really low. Keep breathing. Make sure you can see your front big toe. So as I said, we're going straight into it today. Now you can always do three, come up, then do three again, come up. If not, we're going to stay nice and low. Really squeeze your legs together for that stability. Five, three, two, one. I'm just going to come down just for our little break. So you can just move here. So we've got 15 seconds rest. And then I'm a bit worried about this one. Three, two, one. Okay, we're going to lean over the front leg. Knee up, then come up for a knee, down, knee down. Now you could just be here. If that's too much for you, stay with the upright and do it. If we're going for the full hog, knee up. Step up. Just kind of incorporating a couple of the exercises we've been doing. We've got to that stage now. I'm like determined to keep this fresh. Okay, 10 seconds. Okay, this isn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Five. Ooh. Okay, rest. So we're going to do that, it's the same thing, but the other leg. Ooh. So the pulsing lunge is first. Okay, off we go. Stay nice and low, make sure you can see your front big toe. Squeezing your inner thighs together. Back knee is nice and low. Expect the second one to be worse than the first, but no, because the first one's worse. Keep breathing. Nice and tall through the upper body. 15 seconds. Five. Okay, lower. You can just come and have a little wiggle. Stretch that front leg out. Okay, we are off in five seconds. So set yourself up in low lunge if you've been working with me on Monday. Okay, lean over. Here we go. So same thing you're doing on the other side. The more you lean over, the more you're going to feel it. Oh, I can definitely feel this on this side. Always the way. We were using this side to help as last time. Now it hurts. Okay, 15 seconds. Ten. Ooh, just lost my balance. Five. Okay, rest. Stand up. You're going to need your block or book, doesn't matter which. 
Put it the longest way to your foot. So we're going to a plie squat. So one foot is up, nice and wide with your feet. Two, one. We're going to sit down, come up. So feet are really wide. Toes point out to the 45 degree. Knees are pushing in line with your big toe. Body is upright. Okay. If you want a bit more, you're going to pulse with me. So you're definitely going to feel it a bit more in the leg that's raised. 15 seconds. It's like I'm praying here. It's just habit. My hands being out in front of me. Keep it going. Five, three, two, one. Okay, you're gonna move your block, look, whatever it is, to the other side. Set yourself up again. Okay, off we go. So I'm gonna do a few full, or you can stay full. So with the plie squat, we're getting much more inner and outer thigh. Still working the front of the quad and the glute. Okay, we're pulsing. Off we go. I'm definitely praying here now. Keep it going. 15 seconds. 10. Five, three, two, one. Okay, you're gonna move whatever you're using to one side. So sticking with the plio squat. So just get into position, stay nice and tall. Two, one, come down. We're gonna go up with the heel, up with the heel, down, down, then start the other side, up, up. Down, down, start the other side. Sit, just keep doing the arms. Apparently this is useful. I feel like I'm dancing a bit. Ooh. Yeah, stop that. <laughs> Sink nice and low. So I can go a little bit lower. Remember, body is upright. Knees are pushing out. 10 seconds. Five. Okay, we're coming to all fours. So hands underneath the shoulders, knees under the hip points. We're getting hamstrings now. Five. Doesn't matter which leg goes first, bring it out. Okay, point your toes. We're going up and down. So try and keep your hips square facing the floor. Equal weight in your hands, and you're pointing your toe back. So you're definitely going to feel it in your glute. It's working your hamstring. Imagine that tea tray on your back. And then belly button to spine. 15 seconds. 10. Five, three, two, one, bring it down. So again, you can take a child's pose in the middle. Make sure you've set yourself up again. Five seconds. Three, two, one. If we go, same thing, opposite side. So if anybody has done the infamous Bottom workout, you'll know this from there. I think this one is particularly bad at that. Well, it is at least for me. Okay, keep it going. Make sure your end point is nice and high. 20 seconds. We've got one more after this, and then we're having a rest. So keep it going. 10. Five. Okay, stand up. You're gonna grab 
maybe you're using. I will use the book now for fairness. So that way around, kind of the slimmest way, let's say. You're going to bring it between your legs. Really narrow squat. Okay, come back. We're pulsing here, so I'll go side on. So you've got to squeeze the book. It's going to adjust so if you need to. So think if we were doing the Monday night class, it's chair. So really squeeze your legs together. Bum nice and low. Chest is open. Okay, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Come up. So if you find that helpful to have your arms out, please do. Today that feels like I'm kind of squeezing my shoulders to my ears. A lot of pulses today. Come on. Five. Two. One. Stand up. Okay, have a little rest. Oh, I'll move my knee the other way. So yes, in case you can see, I have Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. It's like the smallest sturdy book I've got. Like a lot of my like anatomy and physiology books are really like big. Don't fancy squeezing one of those. I'm also trying to keep an eye on the comments just in case there is something that comes up for someone that's not, um, not good for them. I'll try and give you an alternative if you write me a message. Obviously, a little bit difficult multitasking. Okay, 30 seconds. Same thing again. This time we're working for 30. Our only rest time is five seconds to get to the new position. So I expect this one to be, to be difficult, but I'm always open to be surprised. Pulsing lunge is coming in 15. I'm doing my nervous, my nervous stance before we start. Okay, five, three, two, one. Off we go. So remember, body is upright. Nice and low. And the more you squeeze your inner thighs together, the more stable you are. If you still feel a little bit wobbly, it might be because your feet are one behind each other. So just widen your base a bit. And make sure you can see your front big toe. Ten seconds. Definitely feel this in my hip flexor. Five, three, two, one. Tip it down. So you know it's coming. Two, one. Lean over. Leg up. Knee in is the full version. Otherwise, you're going to stay here. You can always get rid of the lean over. So it's going to get incredibly difficult to balance. So if you need to, you can grab a chair. Anything, it's very useful to pick a spot to look at. So yeah, my front leg burning. Okay, rest. The other side, that's good, it flies by. Okay, pulsing. Remember this side is gonna be more difficult. 20 seconds. 15, keep it up. 10, got it. Body is upright, most important thing here. Five, three, two, one. Tap that knee down, make sure you're in a good position. Three, two, one, lean over. Knee up, come up. So when my knee goes up, ooh, the balance. You're pushing your heel back. Oh yeah, the balance here is a challenge. We're all gonna be have like super good balance and stability when we are back in the world because of all of this work. Okay, rest. Plie squats, so grab whatever you're using, under one foot, off we go. So if you're pulsing, do it straight away. See, I was kind of adjusting as I go. So you push your knees out. You'll know if you're too, your feet are too far in. You'll just feel it. Remember, you can come up and down. 10 seconds. Keep it going. Five, three, two, one. Okay, let's 
squat feet, and then bear super short rest. Off we go. So yeah, I just have to correct myself a bit. So you can see on the video that my toe is in front of my knee. So if I was watching you, I could see. Difficult from this position to see. I promise you'll feel it if you're not right. Oh, I need to step, stand up for a second. The burn is real. Five. Okay, stand up, get rid of it. Please squat still. Okay, if we go, we're staying low. Up, up, down, down, other side. Okay, that's it, you got the gist. So again, you could grab a chair that you could hold on to if you're struggling with this one. Sit nice and low. 10 seconds. Ooh. Five. Okay, down to all fours. Okay, off we go. This time you're gonna point your toe down. Want it to be a little bit quicker if you can. So toes are pointing down, heel is pointing up. 15 seconds. You're definitely gonna feel this one in your glute now. I'm just sweating and I've not even jumped. Okay, bring it down. Three, two, one, off we go. Next time I get up, my fan is gonna be turned up. Oh, you can see it in the corner just going around. Yes, definitely needs to go up. 15 seconds. One more after this. Toes point down, remember. Five. Okay, grab whatever it was you were using. Squeeze, 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 off we go. So I use my arms to kind of set myself up, make sure the weight is in your heels. You should be able to lift your toes up. Now squeeze whatever it is. If it's like mine's got a paper cover, it means it's slippy. So I've got to squeeze to keep the book there. 10 seconds. And you sink lower, come on. Then you could always do a squat, come up to the top, come down, three. Okay, rest. Ooh. As I said, my fan is going up. Take a drink. Ah, oh, yes. So we're moving to upper body, same layout. We have 40 seconds. We're going to be starting on all fours, so you can slowly make your way there when you had a drink. Oil rigor is first. So some of you will have definitely done these with me before. Hands underneath the shoulders. You're going to kick one foot out. Now you can keep it down on the floor or put it up. Elbows are squeezing back. The further your head comes forward, the harder it's going to be. 15 seconds till we go. Most important thing is when you're coming back, it's like your elbows are squeezed into your side. Five seconds. Three, two, one, off we go. So the bad news is here, we're doing it with one foot up, then we're changing sides. Remember, that foot can always be on the floor. You can always, if this is too much for you, bring the knees in. It's more about like a box press up position. But obviously, triceps is what we're feeling here. 20 seconds. Keep it going. 10. Three. Okay, take some weight off the wrist. So are doing the other side next. 10 seconds. Five, opposite foot is up. Off we go. We 
When you're at the top, try not to lock your elbows out. So soft bend. And then we'll all probably have super strong wrists now after all this time spent holding our own body weight up. There have definitely been some pluses of this whole situation. For a lot of people, my clients, it's realizing that you can get a great workout at home. Oh. 10 seconds, keep it going. Five. Okay, so we're gonna do a shoulder press to press up. So we've done these, so in that downward dog position, head crown of the head goes down, come up, walk forward, press up, walk back. Okay, off we go. If you want to, just stay in press up, sorry, in shoulder press. In press up, you can obviously lower your knees. But my challenge is for you, if you're working on building that strength, do the press up on your toes. It doesn't matter if your elbows only bend the tiniest bit. Core is tight, guys. Belly button to spine. Five seconds. Okay, what is coming up? Ah, stand ups. Sorry, I didn't read my own handwriting. Well, this one was new last week. We're doing it again. So bend over position, flat back, stick your bum out. Fingertips to temples, off we go. Push your hands out, fingertips to temples. Elbows nice and high. Yeah, I like this one so much, it's made a comeback. Really go out, that full extension. I'm moving my arms with no weight is pretty difficult right now. 20 seconds, we've got it. Ten. Five. Okay, you're coming to tall plank for Alex. You can be on your knees. You're gonna do shoulder plank. Shoulder tap, sorry. Everybody else, we're doing forearm plank, two hip dips, coming onto our hands, two shoulder taps. So off we go, so one, two, press up. Two shoulder taps, come down, opposite side. So make sure you're controlling this, it's nice and slow. Core is still, we're getting core work here as well as the arms. Just try and alternate everything. And keep your hips as still as possible. 10 seconds. Ooh. Rest. Okay, take a rest. So we're doing plank knee circles. So you can do this on all fours is what I'll start with very quickly. So here. Not guys, we're coming up. Tall plank, stick that leg out. We're drawing one circle. Get to the back, reverse it. <sighs> Super tough. This core, this is back. This is shoulder strength. Keep drawing that circle. Remember, anytime you can just drop that knee down. Fifteen seconds. Ten. Bad news is we're doing the other side. Okay, rest. Okay, take a break. Break off the wrists. Other side. So you know the drill. Ten seconds. That one is tough. I mean, I've done it obviously before, but maybe with this combination of exercises, it's super tough. Okay, off we go. 
if I'd put this one in first, you'd have like, oh, this is hard, but it's okay. At this point, it is horrible. That's it, come on, we have the strength. Twenty seconds. Fifteen, remember, lower the knee at any point. Ten. Ah, my shoulders. Five. Okay, come down. So I'm going to move my stuff. We're doing a lateral walking plank. So I'm going to come out towards you and back. So I'm walking towards you. So. Off we go. Oh, I didn't need to come back. So walk as far as you have space for. And then just come back. Okay, if this is too tough, you're going to do a bird dog. So it's going to extend out and back. I shouldn't say too tough because I don't mean it like that. I just mean that this is just not for you today. Oh, I know, guys, my shoulders. Okay. Oh, grab your hook, lock, whatever it is. It's going behind us. Tricep lifts. So I'm holding the outer edges. We're going for that bent over position. Off we go. Oh, the backs of my arms. Just think this is the longest time we have to do any of these. We have one more after this. So keep it going, come on. Remember when I did this with a bottle of wine or champagne? If I had that today, I would not be wanting to drop it. Right now with a book, I'm like, oh, I could drop this at any point. There's no incentive. 10 seconds, come on. I'm sure that if this is a donut, I would not be dropping it. Three, two, one, okay. Same object, you're gonna come on your back between your legs. Legs are up, we're doing crunches here. Now I will come to that, we should all know what we're doing. If not, you know, come put your arms behind you. Off we go guys, Tap one foot out, then the other. You can always put your feet on the floor. So I'm with you guys, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Breathe out on the way up and on the way down. We've got our neck hammock, so fingers interlace, thumbs out, take some weight out of the neck. Elbows are out. Space between chin and the chest. Back is stamped down. This should really be upping the ante of your crunch. Squeeze. And rest. Okay, guys, have a drink. Oh, the bad thing says we have to do all of those again. So, one minute. Nice bit of rest time. I'm just going to do a couple of wrist circles. So, I'm really uh, just using my hands to give myself a massage. Feel quite nice, especially this point. I'm gonna do a reverse. But then I'm also gonna do a couple of neck circles. So oil rigger is our first one. So you have just about 20 seconds. So I was purposely very generous with this rest time. So it gives our body a little time to recharge. So, 10 seconds. Let's go through this once more, then we're into the finisher. Five. Extend that leg out, off we go. 
Remember, less time, if you can, I want you to try and pick up the pace with some of these exercises. For this one, I am trying to. Still trying to keep the depth. 10 seconds. Five. Okay, tap it down. Three, two, one, off we go. Remember, you can stay in the shoulder press. Let's go. Bum up, down the facing dog. Off we go. Come on, guys. Try and stay on your toes. You've got it. Doesn't matter to me if your elbow is just bend a centimeter. You're nearly there. Okay, stand up, that bent over position. So really stick your bum back. Off we go. Fingertips out, then to temples. So I come to face you, I'm pushing, palm over hand. Elbows are up, that's the hardest bit. Nearly there. Okay, option one here, shoulder taps. If not, we're on our forearms, two hip dips. Coming up, the tall plank, two shoulder taps. Nice control here. We're really close. I'm so glad that this section is shorter. Okay, rest. Okay, plank circles. Off we go. Remember, you can be on all fours. I'll just demonstrate that now, sorry. There you go. Otherwise, I'm coming back with you guys. Come on. Oh, 10. Okay, rest. Do the other side. Okay, off we go. You can do this. This is exercise seven of 10. Remember, knee can go down. You can do one with your knee down, then one up. 10 seconds. Come on, guys. I'm with you. My shoulders are burning. Okay, down. So you can do a bird dog here, alternating. Otherwise, we're going for a lateral plank walk. Off we go. And then you just reverse. Fifteen seconds. Ow. Come on. We're nearly there. Rest. Grab your book. Or well, if anybody didn't use a book, I'd like to know what you're using. Off we go. Pulse. Really make sure that you're not hunched over. Bum is out, back is flat. Oh my word. 10 seconds, you can't really see, but I am really grimacing here. 
five. Okay, keep hold of it, come down. Remember, you could just be tapping out. Otherwise, crunches, here we go, guys. Squeeze the book. The block, the object you've got. My abs are shaking here. Come on, keep it going. Okay, rest. Oh, you don't need your props anymore. So unless I gave you different exercises for the last round, they're the ones that you should have seen on, on this video, description, stuff it's on social media today. So, oh, quick drink for me. So I will do a demo, give us a slightly longer rest. Definitely need that 30 seconds that's going to rub me off. So chest to floor walk out. I put walk out so you can do what we just did in the warm up. Come back. 10 reps of each. We work for one minute, 30 seconds off. Same thing we did last week. If not, you're going to come out, chest to floor, and then go back up. I'm particularly worried about these ones that are on our shoulders, but we can do it. Right. Final jack. Pop. Plank jack, pop. Now you could just do a plank jack tap. Then burpee squat hold, we've done these before. Burpee hands down, back, one, two, three, four, jump up, hold. Then we are stood up. You'll do five of these, one side then change. So three uppercuts, two, three, back knee, twice, so five, then change sides, then to finish, so it's jab cross, so it's, that is one, so if you're going to count it as one, two, three, four, it's 20, okay, 35 seconds, Ooh, catch my breath before I go, so 10 reps of everything, and that's like last week, I can't remember what it was, it was the one with the commando press up, I was like, no, five is enough, 20 seconds to go. So we work for one minute, we get 30 seconds of rest. Your, it's your minute, so you remember if you want to take more rest, you, you do you, 10 seconds. Five, three, two, one, off we go. So it's where you have to count. So hence why I've given you a list so that we can all go off at our own pace. Make sure if you're doing the walkout, your elbows are bent. So I think 10 of these is okay. If it's too much for you, just do five. Everyone's like, are you kidding me? Okay, rest. So yeah, it's like 50 seconds of walkouts. I think that's fine. So remember your choice. Tends too many, just do five. 15 seconds. So yeah, the rest time for this feels super short. 10. Five. Three, two, one, off we go. Make sure on that burpee squat hold, you're taking the weight out of your hands. And try and start 
out with a different leg to run, but that's too much for you, don't worry. Oh, I'm glad to get up. Okay, keep it up, come on guys. Rest. Oh, I'm glad to get off my arms. I'm just having a little walk. And do deep breaths. 15 seconds. So, uppercut hand. Same as the back leg, that's the leg that does the knees. Five, three, two, one, off we go. Oh, it's just two. Remember, we change sides at five. I normally do three uppercuts, which has got me. Confused me. Make sure you're coming down to up. Okay. I'm going to regret that I said 10 was okay. So yeah, you can ignore me if you want. I've started something now, so I'm doing 10. Okay, rest. Remember your number, I should have said this before. That's the number you go in at. Sorry, I'm so used to everybody being well practiced at these. So you're gonna give you the option of a longer rest this time, your choice. 15 seconds if you're going for the full minute. If not, you'll get 45 seconds off, 45 seconds on. 10 seconds. Three, two, one. Five seconds. Okay, off you go. I can't remember how many I'm on. means I'm having to be really as gentle as I can. So if you're like, Hannah, you're not helping all the way in, that's why. Okay, and rest. Oh, I'm gonna have a sip of water here. Remember, this is our last, well, I don't like to say round because it's rounds, uh, but this is it. 10 seconds. Three, two, one. Go back to finger counting. This is kind of the rounds where I just, during my classes, I just turn the music up. You guys won't even need to leave. look at your sheet soon. So if you don't have any music on, I really suggest that in the next break you do. It really helps. Shoulders. 
Rest. Breathe. Remember your choice. If you need to take a few rests, you do it. As I said in the description, this is a hard class. Five seconds. Off again. So even when these are kind of, we call them real life classes, even though this is real life, but when I'm at a gym, this Thursday night class at this time is the hardest class I teach all week. So if you're kind of new to us, do not worry. Everybody that came was new once. You just do what you can. Before you know it, you'll be out burping me. Sit, come on, five seconds. Rest. Okay, I'm gonna give the option of a longer rest again. Anybody who wants it, please take it. So I just keep myself moving in these breaks. 10 seconds if you're going for the full minute. Five, three, two, one, off we go. I'll give you another countdown if you're still resting. Five seconds. Okay, off you go. Twenty seconds, come on. Ten. Rest. Oh, see where we are. Three rounds to go, guys. Hard for me to not kind of choke my water. Ten seconds. Five, three, two, one, let's go. done three again, it's just two. My hair is stuck to me. 20 seconds. Ten seconds, come on. Just keep going all the way to the end. And rest. Okay, option for a longer rest again. If you haven't had a longer rest, come on guys, you can do this. We're gonna try without one. This is just purely, I call it attrition when you get to this point. It's mind over matter. Your head is gonna get up quicker than your body, I promise. 10 seconds. Three, two, 
One, okay, if you're not going for the full minute, I'll give you another countdown. Three, off you go. An ultimate round, guys. Yes, I try not to be cheesy, but the kind of my brain giving up before my body does really resonate with me. Just tell myself I can and will myself on. Because really, we like the challenge. That's why we're all here. We like to see how far we can push ourselves. Five seconds. Okay, rest. One to go. I have to check with myself, yes. One to go. So we're all gonna try for the full minute. That might mean that, you know, you do a little bit, have a little rest. Do a little bit, have a little rest. I'm just challenging you for the full minute of your best work. 10 seconds. Five, three, two, one. Let's go. So just go to your happy place, wherever that is. Find it now. I know I'm going to end on a walkout. I tell everybody I always end up on the one I hate. Yeah, definitely. Come on, you've got this. I'm tired too. 20 seconds. Oh, I might not end on a walkout. No, I'm not going to. Yes. 10. Rest. Good job, guys. Lots of high fives. Grab a drink and we will cool down. So just don't stop moving. We're gonna have some fun time. Ooh, I definitely needed that drink. Do that thing where I'm thirsty while I'm working out, but I can't drink much. Then I just guzzle the whole thing. Okay. Right, we're gonna start feet nice and wide. So just about wider than your, your shoulders, I should say. You're gonna come over to one side, toes come up. I'm really leaning over this bent leg. Then over to the other side. That fan is heaven. I hope it's not too hot wherever you're doing this. Okay, wide again. Your hands come down to the floor, great. If not, wherever you are is good. If you're struggling, try and widen your base a little bit more. If your hands are down, walk them in line with the arch of your feet. And then try and work on really squeezing your elbows in. And try and get your head down. Just breathing here. Then you're going to walk your hands forward. Really push your bum back here. And then walk your hands back. Palms are down and then push forward a little bit. And then we're going to walk to one side. Head can be over if you can do that. Over to the other. Remember, you might just be on your fingertips here. And then we're going to do it, take a big full body stretch as we come up. So fingertips are going to go back as we come up. So soft bend in the knees if you need to. Really push your arms back. Up. Really stretching up nice and slow. Reach the ceiling. Interlace your fingers. Bring the palms up. Big breath. 
hand out. Okay, I'm going to take my quad stretch on my side. Remember, you can do it stood up. So we're just going to do two stretches to finish on each leg. So take one back. So when you get to this point and you're in bare foot, I'm like, can't quite keep hold of my foot because it's so sweaty. So knees are in line, hips are pushed forward. Okay, you're going to change. Sorry, guys, you're going to get my bum. So, yes, I've been really enjoying the kind of barefoot training. I think I've talked to you about this before. There's loads of benefits to it, and it's so achievable in your own home. But yeah, my arches and my feet feel much better. That one's good this side. Oh. Okay, you're going to come to your back. So cross one leg over the top. You guys know this one. Through the needle, interlace your fingers. Squeeze that leg into you. Use the elbow to push away. And then nose to ankle if you want a bit more. This foot, you're imagining you're kicking it into a wall. Gentle rock side to side if that's good. You should feel that on the outside of the glute and through the hip. Maybe a bit of an inner thigh as well. Depending on how tight you are. Okay, we're going to change. Oh, yes. Oh, I'm looking forward to my shower after this. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. So I have to say, this is one of my favorite stretches. It never gets old. It's always good. And we are done. Really good job, guys. I have to get up to turn the camera off. If I didn't have to do that, I would have been here for like five minutes. But yeah. So next class is Saturday. We have hit on Instagram. I will upload it after. But as always, it does take me a little bit of time. Look how disheveled I look, as always. Um, so yes, I will see you then. Have a really good rest of your evening. And thanks for joining me.